teaching kids about bees in Mashpee. Next. Capecast. So Mike, what's going on here today with these bees and everything in the house with the screens? Well, this is the first week of our 80th season for 4-H Camp Farley. We're, we got 32 acres of, of most beautiful piece of property here in Cape Cod, right on Mashpee Wapey uh, Lake. We operate an overnight and a day program for about, a, about 200 children. And one of the aspects of the wonderful stuff to do around here is to actually learn something about important critters in our world, the honeybees. That's right, and honeybees are actually have an extremely important role in, in this world. As pollinators, uh, we wouldn't exist without pollinators, and honeybees are the primary pollinators for agriculture, as well as for, for gardens and other forms of flowering and vegetative bushes. So without them, we starve. And uh, right now, honeybees are a little stressed. Uh, they've been uh, dwindling in large numbers for the last five, 10 years. They're not 100% sure why. It could be pesticides, loss of habitat, or factors unknown. But we've lost a few. Uh, and, and it's gotten to the point now where they're actually down to critical mass. So there's a big push to be able to promote beekeeping. And instead of looking at bees that are confined into a little uh, plexiglass uh, enclosure, I put the kids behind a screen enclosure and bring the, bring the bees to them. Oh yeah, there it is. That's the queen right there. Oh cool, that wasn't what I yeah. was thinking. Yeah. That was Good the, eyes. I didn't know that that Good, was the queen. Can you see, she's only a little bit bigger than the rest of them. So Avery, we just saw a fantastic bee show. What did you think? I thought that it was pretty amazing how the bees can form with wax just these little amazing combs that have larvae and honey in them. Are you scared of bees? Um, I'm not scared of bees because if you don't bother them, they won't bother you. Say Mike, you get stung, I hear you know a super secret to make it not as bad as it could be. It's not all that secret, but I tell you what, you stick your hand in here for just a minute, all right. let them sting you. No! <laughs> Jeez, yeah, look at that stinger. Now, you don't want to pull it out. I want to pull it out. I got to pull bees, it out. Bees die after they sting you because you, they've ripped out the venom sac along with the stinger. And that thing's still pulsating. So the best thing to do is remove the stinger right away. And you do that with your fingernail or with a credit card or anything sharp that would flick the, uh, the stinger out of your skin rather than grabbing it and pulling it. Because when you grab it and pull it, you've basically squeezed that little venom sac and you squeeze more venom into you. So that's, that's the trick. Flick it out. Don't pull it out. 